Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Brittany. For those of you who are new, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And for you not to miss any of my videos, hit that little notification bell. It lets you know when I upload. For today's video, we are going to be doing a spring makeup look that I have been wanting to film. I bought these a really long time ago before all this quarantine stuff happening. I bought these little rhinestones from amazon and i have been wanting to do a look with these we're gonna play with them today if you would like to see a spring makeup look go ahead and please keep watching we're gonna do it's gonna be kind of a spring festival inspiration kind of look because i know it was supposed to be coachella but it's not happening anymore so with that being said i do have all my products laid out here we're gonna start with the Base. I'm gonna go in with two primers today. The first one that I'm using is the NARS the NARS Radiance Primer. I have talked about this in the past before, but it's a really nice radiant primer. This just gives you a nice little dewy finish. And then I'm gonna go back with my no problem primer from touch and so I love this primer I really stand by it I have a full video dedicated on a review and um, put this on my pore area I feel like that primer is pretty underrated I mean there's some people who I've seen reviews that don't like it but I am one who loves that you kind of have to let it sit on your skin for a bit to like make it work and put foundation on top but it's so good so we have our face prepped already and for the eyeshadow i thought i would bring out the amrezy palette and anastasia beverly hills one it has purples in here that i want to use i'm gonna do something pretty minimal nothing over the top <laughs> because it's a very springy minimal dewy skin like makeup look <laughs> i brought out this puppy today because i haven't used her in a little bit it is prime with this primer this is the luscious angel eyes primer base i got this in a boxy charm a while ago when i was subscribed to it but that was a long time ago we have moved on from that and i put too much <laughs> this thing goes a long way How is everyone doing by the way are you enjoying my videos like back to back actually because i've been just trying to put out content for y'all and just keep you away from this quarantine left this sponge is from maybelline i used it in my previous video for the all drugstore makeup look which thank you so much for the feedback I'm happy you all enjoyed that look. I, I was looking back at it <laughs> and I realized as I'm editing and stuff, you know, after like watching it so many times because I edit and I have to make sure it's right. I was like, this looks like a fall look and we're over here in like full spring. I'm going to set it with the shade called Wasted, which is a very, very light pink in this palette. So this one right here. And I'm going to just disperse it all over the entire eye kind of just setting this all down did any of you pick up this palette i was so excited when it launched i literally went to namie's as soon as i finished my last client when it launched that sunday and i was gonna buy two because my friend wanted one they only limited one per client i was like oh damn so bummer you see this gives it like a little bit of a little wash of pink for the next shade we're going to use a shade called Reezy which is a very hot pink shimmery shade and I know what you're thinking you're like what the hell why are you adding a shimmery to your eyelid and the reason why I'm adding it is because I want washes of pink and purple and because this is so bright I just want to make sure it's on there we're going to do that same thing i'm kind of just patting this on the entire eyelid but 
But anyways, do any of you have this eyeshadow palette? If so, let me know in the comments if you want me to make more tutorials with it. You know, I would always wear shimmer shadows on my crease. This was way back when I first started doing makeup and of course I didn't know. And I mean, I thought, you know, there's rules to the game. But as I've, you know, grown to be doing more makeup over the years and stuff and taking classes and going to school and, you know, just learning more and more, you can totally put shimmers in your crease. And it's a-okay, it's how you want your makeup to look. So see how it looks. It's not as bright as it is on the pan, but it's still giving me, it's still giving me that wash of pink, which is what I want. I'm going to use a shade called Sensa, which is this one right here. It's a magenta kind of color, but we're going to put that right on the outside. Again, just a little wash of it using that same brush too. I don't want to intensify this too, too much. Because we're going to lay down cupcake on top of it. Okay, I feel like I have a good wash of pink now. I'm going to use a shade called Cupcake, which is this beautiful, beautiful lilac-y purple color. And I'm gonna use my ring finger to place that on the inner half of my eyelid. I'm gonna use Barb. It kind of has a little bit of an iridescent on it. So I'm gonna put that right on the outside. Here. It made it a little bit more shimmery. For foundation, we are using the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I am in the shade 3W2 Golden. I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. That just squirted out. Well, the pump works now. Cosmetics got a brush to blend this in and we're gonna go into the sponge to mix the rest. This foundation is very luminous and radiant as it says it claims to be. I really like it. If you are a more on the dry skin type, I think you really enjoy this. For concealer today, we're going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I am in the shade Medium 26. I really like how thin this consistency is, so we're going to use that. Today. We kind of let it sit there for a little bit so that way it can kind of dry and then we can blend it. I'm actually using my Hourglass translucent powder. Yeah, translucent setting powder. You know how I feel about this and I'm honestly just going to use it up. I'm not using it to bake the under, I'm just setting it all in place. I don't have a lot of product on it. For highlighter today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero palette, which I haven't brought her out in a long time because I feel bad when I do that because this was a limited edition item. Currently now back at Sephora, so if you have the chance to get it, I do recommend you get it if you missed it. My cheekbones, we're going to use this shade glow getter so this one right here in the middle I'm also gonna pick up the shade kitty cat because it's a little bit pinky and just to kind of mix with the eyeshadow I have going on just a little bit I don't want it to get too too lost in there but I didn't really give me a pink, that's why I keep it. 
Okay, for bronzer, I do have my Milani Suntan Bronzer. I love this. It's amazing. I'm basically patting this into the skin instead of wiping it. Wiping it. Give me a nice, subtle bronze, nothing too intense. Which is why I really love it. I don't know how to contour my nose. Just, you know, trying to look fancy. For blush, I'm using my Note Desert Rose Blush. Right, we got the brows on. And now we're gonna move on to the fun part. A little bit, wow, my brows look pretty dark. Okay, I blended out my eyebrows because they're a little bit too harsh now that i saw it in the viewfinder what i'm gonna do is start putting on these rhinestones there's five different kind of sizes these are the smallest to the more biggest ones i also do have little bells they're like the little sticky kind that you can put on anywhere basically what i'm going to do is get some of the lash glue just start placing it on to my eyes just randomly putting it on my eye so the nice part that it comes with it is this little guy this little gadget it's two ends so you can easily pick up the rhinestones okay i'm enjoying how this is looking I honestly didn't have a placement, I was just placing into my inner corner. Um, I'm going to put some mascara. We're going to move on to the lower lash line of this eye makeup look. Not bad for my first try. I mean, I wasn't really doing anything symmetrical, I was just placing it. I'm going to use the same Samsa shade and put on the lower lash line. And we're also going to use the shade Cupcake, which is the little purple one. I'm going to use the same lashes I used last time. The Kiss, the uh, Russian Volume. Okay, for the lip, we're going to use the ColourPop BFF Shayla Lippy Pencil BFF 4. So it looks like very chola-ish right now, but that's, don't worry. Don't you worry, we have a nude liquid lipstick. This is peachy. I don't know how this is gonna look, to be honest, but we're going for it. There's too much brown, let me add some more. Okay, I really had to blend that out to give me this color. And for lip gloss, I'm actually using a Anastasia lip gloss. This is in the color Summer Vibes. It came in that trio and that little set with that same one. I've never used it. Wow. Yes, this pulled the look together, honestly. I was afraid it was gonna be a metallic kind of like super in your face. I've not used this in a really long time, so I'm using the LC Hydra Enhancer Alkaline Facial Mist. So that is the end of this eye makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching this kind of spring kind of video. I really wanted to use these little rhinestones for a really long time now, so I really appreciate you guys sticking all the way to the end of this video and kind of just hanging out with me and doing some makeup with me. With that being said, if you want to see more tutorials, hit that little like button. It lets me know that you want to see more tutorials, and that is all I have to share with you today. I hope you're staying safe and well out there, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Toodles!